with people celebrating early from my homeland. Previously on Delos, we set sail for the crazy lemur island of Nozi Momoko. Exactly how I get bit by a lemur. <laughs> Found a really sweet waterfall. and watched an entire village try to pull a boat into the ocean. So Brady, what are we doing? <laughs> well, we're feeding new nice people every day and our new friend here is going to take us to see a cool local waterfall. And a chameleon, yeah? Yes, a chameleon, for sure. One of the toughest things about cruising for us is the constant change. Just as you start to figure out a place, it's time to move on. We'd been in Nosy Bay for a while now. We had our favorite anchorage. We knew the cool spots to hang out. And we had friends. Yup, real, actual friends we could do stuff with. Like head to the waterfall for a chill afternoon. sweet walk and these trees are like lang lang I think they call them and it's they have the flowers and they used to smell like so intense I had one when I was like 15 now you get to see one real it's always the people that make a place special for us and Madagascar was no exception like these kids that met us on the trail the people here are among the poorest in the world. In fact, the per person GDP of Somalia beats Madagascar. How is that even possible? The thing is, I'm pretty sure someone forgot to tell them. They may not have a PlayStation, but they live in a paradise and definitely know how to spend their time. What is today, Brian? Today is diesel day, and we have 700,000 ari ari, which actually isn't that much money, but it sounds impressive. It's enough to buy 200 liters of diesel. The time had come for us to leave our beloved Madagascar, and it was the normal rush of errands before heading out. It's a pretty successful mission today. Pretty easy checkout process. And we've got our departure stamps from Nosy B, Madagascar. And we also have our port clearance. So we are officially illegally in the country now. <laughs> but nobody really seems to care. So I think it's okay. So we'll go to dinner, hang out for a bit, and maybe leave after the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> stretched out jib and we're going to give it to Flo, our French friend that we met here. He's having a, a cool local boat built. Feels good? Yes, it's good. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so how long before your boat's finished, do you think? 
Uh, I think uh, one week and a half. That's it. Two weeks. I don't know. Less maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Thank pictures. you so much, guys. Yeah, no worries, man. <laughs> no problem. You know, it helps out a lot. It's hard to get oh, sales here. Cool. <laughs> The Southern Hemisphere summer was beginning, and we could already feel the difference in the air. The weather was a changing. As the sun heats up the ocean, it fuels tropical storms, the worst being a dreaded cyclone. It generally moves from east to west, then away from the equator, wreaking havoc as it goes. This picture shows 25 years of tropical storm and cyclone history in the Southwest Indian Ocean. Our goal was to sail south and down the coast of Madagascar and into the cooler waters around South Africa to escape the storms for the season. Sad, bittersweet, it's time to move on, but it's been a very special place for me. Look like Lots someone of... don't want to go. To go. No. <laughs> Lots of emotions in Madagascar. Lots of healing, lots of laughing, lots of crying, lots of drinking, lots of eating, lots of eating, <laughs> amazing friends. But that's the sailing life, right? You have to say, see you later. On the way south, we decided to give Flo and his friend Nizar a ride to the village where their boat was being built. The village is pretty remote and doesn't have any roads. Your choice is a 20k jungle hike or by boat. And we were definitely up for one last Madagascar adventure, so happy to give them a lift. So we just got to uh, the local village Matung, yeah? And um, the charts are really, really off, so we have to take the dinghy and try and find a way in. It's still over five meters here, so that's good. Here, um, beans. here are some beans with sauce. This and is the killer hot sauce. Yes, it's a green killer pepper. And there is anchor of peppers. <coughs> anchor so, of? Yes. Yeah. Uh, with uh, onions and tomatoes. Whoa. And then a local fish uh, fries mm. in the wooden kitchen. So what does it sound? It sounds awesome. Man. <laughs> what do you think, Karen? It's real good. It looks awesome. <laughs> what do you got going on, brother? Oh man, we're gonna try some of this local fish. Look at that. So How's good. that hot sauce? It's so good. I don't know. If we pay, it'll be uh, maybe um, five thousand ariari for all of us. So a dollar fifty. Crazy. Flo visited Madagascar with his family when he was ten years old. <laughs> like us, he fell in love with the land and people, and had a dream to return someday. He met Nizar, and his boys, they made a pact. Flo would return from France someday, with enough money to build a boat, and Nizar would be the captain. Now ten years later, the dream is becoming a reality. Everything is made by hand. You look at the nails, and they're ground down, and fit out of like a solid piece of metal and then the hammer is a piece of wood. All of these are just precisely nailed together on top of each other. Like drilled out and then nailed in with these. Cool. Like you don't have much room for error. It's so long and skinny, it's beautiful. Crazy craftsmanship, man. And then the wood is all drug in from the forest and yeah. shaped by hand. Amazing to take a tree and get these boards like this. It's 
It looks be super like heavy, bro. But thousand pounds, but it's oh no way. Since we filmed this, Mamiji is finished in sailing, and she is beautiful. Their plan is to take this Malagash pirogue on sailing trips promoting ecotourism. If you want a real, down-to-earth experience in Madagascar, check out Flaw's website. So what's up guys? What's the next adventure of the day? <laughs> What are we doing, Flo? You have a surprise for us. Yes. Uh, I will show you. You will have a little boat. Mm. Uh, we'll sail. And maybe a little bit on a Malagasian local boat. Cool, man. So wooden. It will be nice. We've been wanting to do it the whole time we've been here. So finally, it's, it's time. Now. It's, it's time. Now. <laughs> it's time. Right when we're leaving. Okay, let's go, guys. <laughs> Ever since arriving in Madagascar, we'd been fascinated by these local pirogues. Over the past few months, we'd marveled at how cool they looked under sail. And now here we were, with a chance to actually sail on one. These boats are perfectly simple. No blocks, no winches, not even a tiller. You drive by simply pulling on two lines attached to either side of the rudder. Sort of like we used to drive go-karts back in the day. The flexible wooden construction absorbs energy, and the whole thing just sort of moves to the motion of the ocean. It was surprisingly fast and nimble, and Maggie had her work cut out to keep up with us. There's really no such thing as tacking in these. It's always a jibe, and the rigging is actually removed during the middle of the jibe and replaced in position to trim for the next run. Awesome guys that took us sailing. Uh -huh. We're gonna take them sailing now. They've never been out on a yacht, so it's gonna be really sweet to take them out. Can't really communicate well, but it's really cool. Just sailors loving how to sail. Well, we've got a 10 knots breeze, so our apparent wind I think should be pretty good. Let's just go out and do a couple tacks. Just have fun sailing. These guys are sailors in the truest sense. They'd seen many modern yachts passing by, but this was their first time up close. They didn't know anything about winches, wind gauges, or even a steering wheel. They got it. So that was that. Three months in Madagascar had flown by in the blink of an eye. It's always such a bittersweet experience leaving a place you love. And we truly fell in love with the land and people of Madagascar. But sailors must sail, and it was our time. Thanks to everyone for taking us in and showing us your beautiful island. Up next, we set sail towards South Africa. Dive in the shark infested waters of Basasta, India. And make it to the continent of Africa. Okay, sweet.
first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Like it? I like it a lot. Skinny, it's beautiful. That's what she said. Yeah. Long and skinny, huh? <laughs>